Okay, so we have Miss Dara here who's done another video that's much longer, but we're going to do a short one, basically showing that uh, bamboo, how, what's the easiest way to help people here in Acapulco? Okay guys, so here we are again after seeing the disaster the next day and actually understanding what's going on and where most help is needed. Seeing how all Acapulco is and all the Bonfil and Barra Vieja area, obviously the guys are coming in and they're coming to help and they're coming to work, but there, there's no cash machines, there's no cash flow, there's no, no nothing, there's, there's no taxis, there's only slowly starting because there was no gasoline, no diesel. So, and people are, are scared. I mean, there's so much vandalism going on. So the best way for everybody is not to be scared, to come back, to help the economy, to help the local economy, starting off with here, <laughs> making reservations, coming for Christmas and New Year, or whenever you want to come as soon as you can, and helping so we can pay the wages, so we can help the local economy, and the people that are all depending on Bambud in a certain way, on Bonfil, and on all the, the neighboring, uh, businesses that are around because the people have to work they have to eat and the only w way is tourism coming back so we really, really appreciate us to see you very soon excellent all right so we have christian here and he is going to show you where they set out the hurricane yes. well we got here at, at about 9 30 because we were off home and the wind was starting to get like a little hard so we decided to come to the Cucurucho, which is this place. It's like a bunker. It's made of super adobe, which is a thick costales of earth. So it's pretty tough. So we were here and at about, there was no light. The light went off at about 8.30. And the real wind started at about 11, 11, 15, something like that. And we were here just watching the palm trees as the wind started to really really hiss very loud it started it was like a werewolf it was just like and then it started it was really a scary sound some kind of a, like a, the demons you see in the movies or a werewolf or something yeah. like that. and the palm trees were just like the, the wind was coming like from the southeast I, th I thought in a hurricane like that it, it would come from the sea, but it was actually coming from the left side, very, very strong. And the palm trees were just like three or four around here fell off. And I mean, it, it lasted like about three hours, maybe four hours, non-stop hissing. It was really, really something. And, and you mentioned that there was no eye, is that correct? Exactly, because I was afraid what happened when after three, four hours, it stopped, it was pretty, it was cooling down. But, and Christina said, well, maybe now it stopped, Vistara said that. And I said, I'm not sure about that, because what I know is that there's a, an eye into the hurricane where the, the calm is, is there, and then it starts again to blow. So we were really fucking scared. <laughs> And at about six o'clock in the morning, when the lights, when the sun started coming out, uh, we said, well, let's see all the damage, let's see what's happened here, because we didn't know what happened. And we tried to open the door, and the door was stuck, because the wind closed the door from the outside. So we had to cut, a, uh, <laughs> we had to cut the mosquitero, and this there just came out, went out through the window to open the door for me, and so we <laughs> out. What Fortunately, if, there was no eye. There, there was no no eye because then everything stopped. It, which is, which is very strange, though, very isn't it? Strange, it's not normal just to have a big chunk of wind yes, for yes, hours. For like four hours, but very very strong. I think uh, they said it was like uh, three hundred and thirty kilometers. Wow. So Not it felt really, really terrible. We were lucky to have this place because it's this very tough. This is amazing, it's, and it it's, it's the, kept the you safe. The walls are like 20 inches thick, so it, it's a bunker. It yeah. didn't move at all. We did it all ourselves. It's all her. So <laughs> it's really, it's, it's good, perfect. Yeah, beautiful. We thank, okay. We thank the Cucurucho. Thank you, Cucurucho. <laughs> Thank you.
No le des la esquina. Como aquella la pusiste. Mueve la caja de mayonesa más para acá, Preparing the vehicles so people can't see what we're carrying. Some buenas, ¿verdad? It's the amazing team. Angel team. Acapulco. Víveres. Gracias a todos. Gracias. Everyone hard at work here. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> it doesn't stop you. And uh, all with a smile and dedicated to, uh, to being of service. It's amazing. Yeah, gracias. We had a crash. We had a crash. <laughs> Normally very good driver. Gracias. Okay, they're closing. We, we've kept everyone back here an extra hour in Bodega Orera. Buying all the super specials of the, of the home brand products. Ready to fill the truck. Hey, gracias eh, por salvar estos. Casi yo los choqué con esas. Aline, gracias. Obed, ¿dónde, dónde conseguiste tu licencia, Obed? <laughs> all our trolley. ¿Eso es todo? Big load of, of trolleys all going to Acapulco tomorrow morning. Hopefully we can get out early. Got a couple of things. So, gracias a ustedes. Gracias por el apoyo también. Ayuda. Gracias. Hey. Yeah, now load up. Muy bien. Eso. <laughs> the, the water bottles are bigger than the seven-year-old Alina here. This is incredible. But they won't let themselves rest. They won't um, stop. It's amazing. I don't have to do anything. These guys have got this all under control. Okay, we're storing the the, uh, uh, the necessities for the village. We're storing it while we go get some more more stuff from storage from another location and get get moving again. Uh, yeah, amazing, amazing miracles. They're such fast workers. <laughs> this is this is this is farm kids who grew up in the forest on a 20 hectare farm. This is what they work like with pleasure. They enjoy disfrutan en el trabajo porque están están del campo. Son campesinos de su rancho. Sí, campesinos del rancho del carro. A mí me gusta trabajar como hombre. Trabajar como hombre. A mí me gusta trabajar como campesino. <laughs> it's, uh... Got Rebecca here. Actually got our generator up and running, so we're getting full 100%. Rambo. <laughs> <laughs>